Right, 12th October, so let's take a look at today. Now, yesterday we had these hours for astro hours, so 10 a.m., 12.15, expect some sudden moves towards 3 uh, p.m., and then we had 3.40 to 4.20, and then we had 11.45 to 11.55, so that would have been like ending of tonight where the market would just stabilize off. So let's take a look at gold. Let's start off with the gold. Now, you remember with gold last week, selling here coming into that purple zone i drew before so we're down here i said this zone is a little tricky because if this is a good impulse wave here it's a good push it's also breaking structure as you can see here it's got break of structure market coming back to retest the liquidity so we're either gonna move up from around here or if it breaks below we'll go slightly lower okay and that's how it is so Yesterday is a bit tricky therefore because we have to play both sides of the market. Yesterday this zone was a sell zone. If you sold here at the Astro hours you would have been okay because that's 315 there and that's 340 there. So the market went down about seven or eight dollars from there with about we had what three bucks stop loss there. Okay, so it was still okay, one to two, not bad. This was not an astro hour, alright, so the market all of a sudden went up from this um, from that um, level into that zone we had a purple zone here as well if you remember yesterday and then the market just came down from there so I didn't have this level here as a swing but these levels we certainly did uh, and we had 10 o'clock in the morning uh, that's 745 10 o'clock was in the middle of nowhere except here okay so the white line would have been an okay to sell as well if you're doing intraday trading and then this zone this is one o'clock as you can see so we didn't have anything until three o'clock so it was like a bit of volatility until three o'clock that's the sudden move there that we expected market goes up into that three o'clock as you can see and from there on it just starts to turn and makes that intraday swing okay as at um, as at after three o'clock and then the market just comes down goes up blah 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 so today um yesterday that 1651 was a target this is still a target okay so selling here at astro hours selling here at astro hours are still okay in my opinion to push further down like i said yesterday as well because this could be an impulse wave and the market could pick up in the middle of nowhere when i say in the middle of nowhere between two extreme levels like a top and a high you want to trade carefully so yesterday i said use smaller lot sizes why because when you're in the middle of nowhere you get choppy like here and you don't want to get choppy so buying at the right place and selling at the right place are really really important so this could still come to that 1651 if it does this is also going to look like a good buying place Okay, so it's not a bad place to buy at an astro hour if it comes down into that level as it's a weekly goodbye kiss as you know okay and that's basically it so selling again is an option if it breaks below this on any pull up into an astro hour you can sell to push down let's take a look at euro dollar same kind of scenario here guys Okay. yesterday this was also in the middle of nowhere this is 215 there this would have been your cell location here yesterday until the white line here as you can see that's still about 30 35 points from there not a bad intraday trade at all actually if you think about it, it's just within minutes it's an astro hour it's a resistance there and the market afterwards bounced off like I said I didn't have this as an astro hour yesterday um we only added up to 420 which is pretty much that bar there okay so selling at those levels here is what we would have done pushing it down okay um and then what else so with the euro dollar same kind of thing remember good push up we're in the middle of level so being in these um mid zones like i said is a bit tricky however okay it is tricky but um, it's still tradable uh, if you're using smaller lot sizes with astro timing and price precision so what you can do once again if you get your prices right the daily pivot plus this zone here is not a bad sell level if it matches an astro hour if it breaks below on any pullback you can still sell at an astro hour 
um, the white zone here is also the white line that is is also not a bad idea we're not at an astro hour yet we still got some time to go I'll put that on the club members area um, you know as soon as I do the video as well okay so knowing these levels and understanding that where we're going is an important thing as you know with this we've got 99.55 down there as a target so euro dollar may still have some room to go i'm still expecting really big volatility in the market simply because of astrological phenomena let's take a look at us 30. now yesterday also same kind of thing here now at 10 o'clock we had as an astrological hour as you know and this was the low of the day right so on the 10 o'clock bar we really did the um, low of today that's the 15 minute chart for today and then the market just went up as you can see here that is also 330 which is an astrological hour and here we've got 420 which is an astrological hour right there which is actually just where that swing is happening in order to go up there would have been good if we got this level as well but around this hour I didn't really have anything to show for and then the market sizzles down now this zone and this zone are good to keep pushing down in my opinion because the market went up is now down and now we're going sideways okay so as you know we had that goodbye kiss there to push down so the market going sideways a little bit and then pushing further down is an option yesterday's support was right on this blue line here and this is where the market picked up just above like just above the line so it's pretty close and today that level is 35.72 which is this as price so 29.041 okay so this will be like this zone here is going to be your first target and if it breaks below that and you can see we're going to go lower into this zone let's take a look at bitcoin bitcoin as well so with bitcoin too um well you know not much to talk about we're expecting the market to come down so this month we probably will be ending up either down here or slightly lower i just need to keep an open mind for this despite the fact that i have drawn that line there i'm going to keep this in mind here Okay, I'm going to keep this in mind there. As you can see. All right, so selling is okay for us on this on the cards again. And look, this is yesterday, right? Um, pretty much there, as you can see, right on the white line. And then boom, on the pivot as well. Uh, and if you take a look at this, this is once again, this is, a, this is an exact astrological hour. 3.20, we talked about 3.40. So this opening bar here was at 3.40 and the market came down from this. So it's all good. Market going up and then boom, down. Um, and continuing that motion. So let's just do, turn this into an hour chart so we can refresh. As you can see, if we break below, we've got room to come down on the pennant. And this is what it seems to be happening. So the first initial target is going to be your HCL1 today, 18926, and your first target there is at 33, which is 18817, 18817. Let's take a look at the daily. That level is still what we're looking for, 32, which is 18550. 18550 so let's make this our initial target for today okay on the daily we could get there tomorrow as well it really depends on the market at the end of the day this zone is what we're looking for okay so we should come down into this zone here and the purple zone is also a guide where the market should probably come down to as well if it's stuck if it's going to continue to sell so we want to sell right as it goes up we want to push down and that's it where can you sell at an astro hour um poof, you can sell
Okay, you can sell around here. Well, they've already done that. So, still, you can still sell on this purple zone. If it comes here, you can keep going short. Obviously, the weekly pivot too. Needless to say, we're always talking about that one.